into the next segment of the day. 2022 MLB AL division winners. Got odds and I got some uh, predictions for you if you would care to listen. Uh, East, let's start things off with the AL East. We got Toronto coming in as the favorite, uh, plus 170 at plus money, though. Uh, Yankees behind them, plus 250. Third place, Rays, plus 250. Red Sox behind them, plus 500. And the O's, plus 20,000. Ooh, 200 to 1 odds. Hey, sorry, O's. Um... You know, I, I always tell you, like, I never like to take the uh, the leader in a, in a futures market. Um, but I really think Toronto makes some noise this year. With there being no COVID restrictions in Canada and and then being able to play at their home ballpark and do all of that and not have to worry about it. Like I said earlier on the show, they really caught fire last year when they started playing in their dome, when the fans were there, when they were getting the vibes. And I really think that uh, that's something we're going to see here um, coming into 2020. I think they're going to play off of that momentum. Momentum. If I was going anywhere, that's where I would lean. But how do you look at Tampa Bay and what Kevin Cash has done over the last, I don't know, five years or whatever, the, how long this run has been that, that Tampa Bay has just seemed to be dominant in the AL uh, East? How can you not look at that plus 250 and think about getting involved? I think the Yankees and the Red Sox could potentially flip places. I think Tampa Bay could be number two at plus 250, and I would actually put the Yankees up a little bit more around plus 350, plus 400. Um, I just think the Yankees are getting that value right there simply because they're the New York Yankees, and I think a lot of Yankees fans are going to be crying, whining, moaning, and complaining this year. I can't wait to see it on the timeline. That's my hot early take, early prediction that the uh, Yankees are – are going to be a hot dumpster fire. But who knows? Who am I? What do, what do I know? I live in the middle of the doggone country. I don't know anything about shit except my Chicago Cubs. Or maybe I do. Speaking of uh, the middle of the country, let's talk about the Central. Chicago White Sox, minus 210, leading the pack as the favorite. Minnesota, plus 490. Detroit, plus 550. Kansas City, plus 2,000. And Cleveland, plus 2,000. Told you multiple times and just said it a minute ago, I never like to take the favorite in a futures market. Now, especially when they are at minus money, let alone minus 210 in that future spot. I hate to say it, Chicago White Sox fans, and this is not me being a Chicago Cubs fan. I think it's going to be a scrap, scrape, and an absolute war for you guys to get into the playoffs again this year. I think it might be flirting with wildcard spot. I think it might be something very, very, very... Uh, very, very, very outside of what you guys are all thinking that it's going to be. But hey, I, especially with these odds, it's what I'm thinking. Um, I don't know, especially with Jose Ramirez just resigning, what I said about that rotation. They make a couple additions earlier on in the year. I'm not telling you to put your dog on mortgage on it, but a little pizza and beer on the Guardians plus 2,000. I'm not putting it out the realm. I told you what's up with Minnesota. I'm not a big fan of that rotation whatsoever. I think that gets them into trouble early and often. Detroit, I like the rotation, but the offense is lackluster as all hell, and I can't get down with that. Kansas City, no thanks, no way, no how. They didn't make nearly enough moves in the offseason. Zach Greinke isn't going to be the answer to all their prayers. So that leaves me with Cleveland, with not having wanting to bet the uh, minus money. So... That's kind of where my, my eyes go, process of elimination, and kind of what I've been talking to you, not even confirming biases, just kind of building on the storyline that I've been talking to you about all day to day. So Cleveland Guardians, new team, new name, new playoff push, plus 2,000, my winner for the Central. Let's wrap it up. With the West, we got Houston, obviously the favorite, minus 170, Angels plus 380, Seattle plus 450, Texas plus 2,200, and Oakland plus 45. Hundred. Um, to win the division, I'm very interested in seeing what LA does. Um, I'm even interested in seeing what Seattle does. Um, I mean, Seattle could put together 10 more wins and be a 102 win ball club this year. Um, I'm interested to see what they do. I, I honestly, I don't think they come crashing back down to earth. I think they build upon the momentum. I think Seattle is doing something special over on the West Coast this year. I think the plus 450 is a little bit too much for me to get involved in. I think it's kind of just a little bit too much of a setup. Um, but if I'm looking at you, and again, as that comes out of my mouth, I, if I'm looking anywhere, I'm looking Seattle or LA. Uh, and it's just honestly that LA seems like plus three, like those odds just don't, I don't know. Those odds just don't correlate with the names on the team. And to be that close to Seattle, 
Call me crazy. I think Seattle wins the AL West, plus 450. I like the value. A little pizza and beer. Again, not saying put your dog on mortgage on it, but then again, how do you look at Houston and what they're doing and think that they don't? I don't, well, mm, ah, mm, maybe they get into a little bit of an issue early on in the season with uh, those issues with Lance McCuller being injured. McCullers, who knows uh, what's going to happen as far as that number five, if the rest of those guys are going to be able to step up, have that next man mentality. Who knows? Maybe they do get in trouble early on in the season. Seattle hammers down because nobody is anticipating uh, them coming in and, and being a good team again this year and being able to rely on that pitching rotation. And they get a three, four, five comfortable game lead in the AL West to kick things off. I don't know. Who knows? Shake it up. But my pick, AL West, Seattle Mariners plus 450. There it goes. Uh, final segment of the first half of the show, my friends. Then we'll dive into a little bit of nonsense. We'll get on up and get on out. My American League winner, odds and official pick. Uh, as far as it goes, Toronto plus 450. I'll give you the top 10 once again here. Uh, Chicago White Sox plus 460. Houston Astros plus 480. Yankees plus 650. Rays plus 750. Boston plus 1200. Angels plus 1200. Seattle plus 1500. Minnesota plus 2400. And Detroit plus 2800. Hundred. Very interesting that Detroit was the number 10 team there uh, in the AL. Definitely, uh, I, I guess that's right about where I'd put them. But it was just very interesting, the plus 2,800 to me. Um, with it being a plus 450, I think I'm going Toronto. I think I'm going the Blue Jays to make that push this year. But it honestly, like, I feel like everybody's going to be talking about that. So... Again, I'm going with a team nobody's talking about and and maybe a sprinkle on two nobody you're talking about. Maybe take a gander at the uh, the Angels, plus 1,200, and take a gander at Seattle, plus 1,500. Little sprinkles, but a $10 sprinkle, if you got it burning in a, a hole in your pocket, you can just sit around. You got a fresh 150 if Seattle makes it to the World Series, you know? Like, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. That's it. So I'm saying, who knows? Who's to say? What am I? I'm crazy. But what I do know is those ones would be the one to interest me just from what I've been saying. Houston repeating just again just seems too easy. The White Sox, I just everybody's talking about them. They're over the moon on them. Too many people over the moon on them. Yankees, like I said, I think a lot of people are going to be crying here in a few weeks. Tampa Bay, plus 750. If it was going to be the same Tampa Bay performance, I don't think they'd be a plus 750. Boston, eh, that's kind of out of the way for me. Minnesota and Detroit, I've told you about both of them. So, again, leaves L.A. and Seattle, and that's kind of where I would sprinkle my money. So, there's your odds. There's uh, my pick for league winner. Call me crazy. Call me dumb. Call me goofy. I don't care because we ain't all going to know until 162. Matter of fact, probably 190 some odd games from now. So we're all going to have to wait. Ain't nobody going to know. That's my goofy opinion.